Hello, hello, here's how to keep applications running with an Linux desktop on a Chromebook. If you don't have a Linux desktop running on a Chromebook, you can watch my first video on how to install and get a Linux desktop running on a Chromebook without running. When we open up an application such as LibreOffice Writer, we can see that a separate app opens up and we can see that individual app running outside the desktop in the bottom shelf of our Chromebook. To fix this, we are going to go to the LXDE menu and we're going to right click on the application that we know has been running outside the desktop. For this example, I'm going to be doing LibreOffice Writer. We're going to select properties and in the desktop entry tab, we are going to prefix the already existing command with env space in all capital letters gdk underscore backend is equal to lowercase x11 space. We're going to press the OK button and then we're going to open up the application how we normally would through the menu. And now we can see that the application runs within the desktop and it doesn't run as a separate app anymore. If the application still runs outside of Linux, try shutting down Linux and then bringing Linux back up and then open up the application again. Now that we know how to keep applications in the desktop, Here's a list of some of the applications that need their launch commands to be fixed with the text that we prefix the already existing command with. Now if you accidentally edited or deleted the already existing command and you press the OK button, that is A-OK -okay because we can restore the default command by going to the menu, go to System Tools, and then open up File Manager PC Man FM. From there, right click anywhere in the background space and select show hidden. This will show any files and folders that start with a dot in their name. We're going to go to the dot local folder and then we're going to go to the share folder and then we're going to go to the applications folder. Any menu item that is edited is copied from the slash user slash share slash applications file path over to the slash dot local slash share slash applications file path. I strongly do not recommend editing anything in the slash user slash share slash applications file path. Since I've only edited LibreOffice Writer, there's only been one application that's been copied here. And now that we know that anything in the dot local slash share slash applications file path is only a copy, we can edit or delete anything. This means that we can delete the application where we messed up the command, which in my case is LibreOffice Writer. To delete a file, you can either right click the file and select move to trash and in the places side pane, right click on the trash can and select empty trash and then confirm that you would like to empty it. Alternatively, you can do a left click on the file and then do alt shift backspace on your keyboard and confirm that you would like to delete the file. Now we can close out of the file manager and we can go back to the menu and we can look at the properties of the application that we just fixed. And under desktop entry, we can see that the command is restored to its default. Pretty neat. If you enjoyed this video, you may be interested in the companion book to this video, the Chromebook guide to Google Linux. And as always, enjoy the desktop and see you soon.